Hi everyone, I'm the Act Attorney here. What a pleasure it is to meet all of you today. I am so thrilled and excited. Today, we're going to be talking about copyright abuse and why filing false copyright take counts is considered perjury, which is a crime under U.S. Law Section 512F of the DMCA. How's that for an intro? <laughs> Never gonna be doing something like that again. You guys literally sound like, like abuse victims, right? So I would say this game is for somebody. They have no family, Bye, bitch. no friends, Bye, bitch. no life. Bye, bitch. I'm not sorry. I don't like Elden Ring players. They're nasty people. The players are losers. And you want to literally just start rolling with all these claims and accusations. Literally living up to every gamer stereotype that you could possibly imagine. And you want to literally prove my point by being that literally loser. You're, you're literally like a shut-in loser, loser that like does this. And these people are literally like, bro, like they are literally scumbags. They like literally the textbook definition of like a bad human being. Like, you know, you want to sit there and you want to act like I'm some bad human being, you can get bent, dude. Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. Don't cry for me. I'm already dead. Maybe that's why you don't have a ring on your finger. Maybe that's why your kids aren't around you. Because, because maybe there's something wrong with you. At the end of the day, go kill yourself. Because man. maybe there's something wrong the with you. A game that's not for everyone isn't the game that should be made of Maybe there's something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Literally look at what you're doing. Maybe there's something wrong with you. All right, I'm recording this after the fact just to give a fair warning. A lot of the stuff I'll be showing and reading in this video is pretty offensive. None of it comes from me. And trust me, it all has a point. So here we are. You take the blue pill, you click off this video, go to bed, wake up, everything's the same. You take the red pill, and I show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Court is now in session. A false copyright strike and takedown request uh, was recently filed against my channel. Take a guess by who? Matt Haas. Nope. Derek Savage. Nope. Quantum TV. You guys want to have your fun with Quantum TV? Have your fun at this point. I mean, I'm kind of amused by this. I'm not gonna lie. So you think it's funny? The star of my Elden Ring hot takes video. If you haven't watched it, it'll be linked in the description. Uh, that video is going to remain public and it will remain public forever. So since what is his name here? The Act Man? Never heard of you, and we're going to go over your so-called hot takes, which contains a lot of stolen footage, and which, by the way, I'll look into my options around getting that taken down. Any further attempts to falsely copyright strike my channel will be met with a counter lawsuit in which I will clean you out. When you start talking fair use, you are opening a legal battle because you're telling the copyright owner Fuck you, I can do what I want. 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 I've also been updating fans curious about this because it is a big deal, but follow me on Twitter. I've been posting stuff and details there. This has gotten so far out of control, I have no choice but to unleash my true power as the act attorney. And although I have no legal authority as a lawyer, that's the end of that sentence. If you're curious about how copyright enforcement works on YouTube, uh, Mudahar made a great video summing up the ramifications and what is actually at stake. Again, once you file this claim, somebody else can counterclaim you and then it becomes a legal issue. If it turns out that you're actually abusing this for, for your own benefit, just to hide criticism, and you've actually taken down legally fair use content, this bites you on your ass. This is not authorized by the copyright owner, its agent, or the law. The law, okay? That includes fair use dealings, fair use law. If you were to take this video to a fucking courtroom, the judge would say this is fair use, okay? Even though fair use is a gray area. You know, normally reacting or commentating on someone else's video as part of a critique falls under fair use. And generally speaking, pretty much everyone on this platform understands that uh, because if we didn't, then we would just be taking down other people's videos that we don't like all the time. And so while editing the hot takes video, I made sure to edit as much of the original Quantum TV clips as I could. Why I am very confident that what you guys do and your takedown journalism of other YouTubers and other creators is not only not fair use, but it's YouTube's textbook definition of cyberbullying and harassment. Objection! What I posted 
was fair use. And YouTube agrees with me, which is why they rejected the copyright takedown. Now keep in mind, in this legal document, not only is it false, but he didn't even bother to fill it out properly. The link to his video is missing, and he wrote the wrong title for the videos he was claiming. I have the original titles here. I will put them on screen. If you send a DMCA takedown notice that is both false and meant in bad faith, such as to harass or doesn't state a real claim, you have committed perjury. Take that! You posted these to YouTube. You can't file false claims and lie in the claim, you absolute moron. You can't, you can't beat the act attorney, man. I, I played all the ace attorney games. I played them all. In my last video, I said this. It's like a rabbit hole we don't even want to go down. Unfortunately, now we have to. Some people might ask, well, why are you making this video? Why are you giving him exposure? Uh, I understand your concerns, but this affects the entire YouTube platform. By the way, he's not gaining much of a following or viewership from all of this controversy. And my end goal is the termination of his YouTube channel for routinely abusing copyright, violating terms of service, and the YouTube community guidelines. All of this that is outlined, I'm going to show you evidence of how Quantum TV has violated all of it. But let's start at the beginning. Amazing. Let's give a shout out to Mischief. And there are all these people saying that I falsely attacked some young kid. Everybody loves to put his age out. The moment I mention it, why are you so obsessed with his age? I don't care he's a minor, leave it alone. For some reason, he's really obsessed with the age of Mischief. Like, nobody gives a shit about his age. He's being a piece of garbage. People like Mischief, who apparently is a young child. Maybe Mischief's mother might want to get in on this. What? All the negative press you've seen on me is because I reviewed a game once, didn't like it, some 16-year-old kid picked it up. This is said 16-year-old. 16-year-old, 17 year old kid from the UK. Mischief, the 16 year old kid. You're not some young 16 year old kid on the internet. It was a 16 year old kid. This kid. He's a 16 year old. There's a 16 year old kid. Some 16 year old kid. Some 16 year old, 16 year old kid on the Mischief is the chief orchestrator behind this entire thing. This is all about Mischief who's orchestrating this, who's running to every YouTuber he can. And again, it's always orchestrated by this one little shit. He is whining and lying to everyone he can. I mean, I'm so fucking tired of this little kid. I I swear can't to God, even with this motherfucker right all now. All this started because of some 16-year-old kid. This one little shit mischief. And the thing that really gets me the most annoyed is it all started with mischief. Like, nobody gives a shit about his age. Quantum TV is right. This all started with mischief. He uploaded a video critiquing Quantum's first review of Elden Ring. The man was not pleased. Quantum TV is the exact type of channel which makes you consistently have to sit back and ponder the question, what the actual fuck is wrong with this man? Even though he himself is more than happy to poor shame people in now deleted replies to my community posts, I want to clear out one or two things regarding why I myself took down the video initially. First of all, at the time I simply said to myself, fuck this, I'll deal with it later and so took it down. So Mischief took his video down because he didn't want to deal with that and Quantum celebrated his victory and retract his claim. You steal videos and you, you, you lie through your fucking teeth. This guy is going around to every YouTuber he can fucking find saying, he's saying I'm violating YouTube terms of service and he's bullying me. He's playing the fucking victim. Let me, let me put this on the screen for every motherfucker right now that needs to see this shit. This little turd literally pulled his own video. Yeah, because he probably doesn't want to get a fucking copyright strike. But the damage and intent was made apparent to the rest of us. Because we all understand the gravity of using copyright against other content creators. This is something that will naturally draw people's attention, especially if it is being abused. This is all about Mischief, who's orchestrating this, who's running to every YouTuber he can. OBJECTION! Mr. TV, I'm afraid I must expose your ignorance. For you see, Mischief never orchestrated any attack against you. Take a look at this screenshot. Would you, would you kindly take a look at this screenshot? I wouldn't recommend making a video on that quantum guy. Well, Mr. TV, care to explain how Mischief could be orchestrating a cyberbullying campaign against you at the same time he's telling the rest of us not to go after you? Because I'd love to hear an explanation. Or do I smell a contradiction? <laughs> You're only blaming Mischief for all of this because he made the first video. This has all been a facade to silence criticism about you. You have it backwards. Mischief didn't reach out to me. I reached out to him. 
as you can see in these DMs here. Make no mistake, Quantum, your takes were so bad. They were, they were the worst I've ever seen. But you are the only one responsible for escalating this situation. You used your platform, your standing to routinely harass mischief. I mean, I'm so fucking tired of this little kid. I swear to God, I can't even with this motherfucker right now. Third, right? I'm the bad guy here for telling some small punk that wants to steal from other people and just shit on them. Just absolutely shit on them. Bro, the only one stealing is you because you're stealing everyone fucking intelligence the fact that mischief was 16 17 just made it shittier because he's young because someone like that could easily be manipulated by someone like you but that's a but that's a smart kid man I mean he's only 16 years old and you couldn't get the best of him <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of these smaller channels, 200 subscribers, 400 subscribers, 4,000 subscribers, that, that tier of lower YouTuber, amazing. Let's give a shout out to Mischief. You know, that is a great idea, Quantum. For once we agree on something, everybody go subscribe to Mischief. Let's get him to more subscribers than Quantum TV so we can see who the real lower tier YouTuber is. Wouldn't that be amazing? Subscribe to Mischief for justice. Never in your wildest dreams did you expect someone like Mischief to have a powerful ally like me. But against scum like you, I'll always try to be there to clean up the streets. It's funny, isn't it? The old saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. While I may not like what Griffin Gaming has to say about some of my videos or my Vanguard review, who cares about any of that? This is way more important. YouTube is a platform where we should all be able to hate each other and coexist. You threaten that, Quantum. They smack talk and smear somebody's reputation that they don't like for the moment and move on to the next person. You know who's also big for doing this? Griffin Gaming. There's so many- That's right, bro. For some reason you decide to go after Griffin Gaming too for doing the same thing Mischief did. God knows how many other YouTubers you've attacked in the comments section. The pattern is Quantum will start beef with anyone who talks about him. He'll produce a video, leave it up for a day, and then delete it because he realized what a disaster it is for him. Like, for fuck's sake, he pulled his own video. Deleted by user. You tell me what that shit means. That's what you call ironic. I got all these fuckers calling me out of my name. I'm a scumbag. I'm this, that, and the third. You are, bro. Many gamers that do this toxic shit where they find somebody they want to bully and they think the shit works. It doesn't work. Like, if you don't want to get quote unquote bullied, keep your opinions to yourself. Maybe uploading them to a public website is probably not the best idea. Griffin makes a good point. If you upload something to YouTube, anyone can criticize it or talk about it. You posted it to the internet. That's the end of it. He expects the internet to be nice to him. Fuck <laughs> You did say you were gonna look into your options. You did want to take legal action against me. That's also another shtick that people told me about you. Like Griffin Gaming, that's what you do. Don't make it like that was clickbait, Chief. You were thinking about it. Ironically, in his quest to silence all criticism, Quantum TV has invoked the Streisand effect to its maximum potential. Your efforts to hide the truth have only increased people's curiosity about it, to the point where some of the biggest YouTubers and Twitch streamers are aware of your bullshit now too. I'll be looking into sharing Quantum's abuse of the copyright system with important people at YouTube, uh, as this is something that can lead to the termination of your channel. And I responded and I said to him, Imagine having a take on Elden Ring that's literally so bad that you end up getting banned for it. That's too fucking bad, isn't it? That is just too fucking bad. Wow. Review Tech USA was one of the next people to cover Quantum's hot takes. I'm just gonna start off by saying there has been a lot of controversy created by specifically Review Tech USA. Now, Rich's videos discussed the bad Elden Ring takes, but also highlighted that Quantum TV's been evading a previous ban on YouTube. Take that! A ban for hate speech. Did I mention 6,752 times that he's ban evading? Objection! How is a previous ban relevant? Objection! Because it's against terms of service. Rich has provided ample evidence of bigoted, hateful, downright disgusting posts from Quantum across his Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Some of this evidence also came from the TV community, which apparently from my DMs is also sick of his shit. And this is not cancel culture. This is not. 
This is someone being held accountable for their horrible, horrible actions that they did over and over and over and over again. Now, Rich isn't going after Quantum's past because of cancel culture, right? This is to further establish the legitimacy of your previous channel's ban, Quantum, and therefore justify a ban for your current one. In a response to a picture of two people kissing in a church, he wrote, Too bad you weren't a Pulse victim. In reference to the Pulse nightclub shooting, an incident at a gay bar where 47 people were killed. Get this piece of trash off of YouTube. Isn't it funny when people try to call you a bigot and a homophobe when they're literally exactly what they're trying to accuse you of being? Look at you. Literally look at what you're doing. It's Rich watching you try to paint me as some sort of bigot as you literally are one. He put up very, very hateful things towards the LGBTQ community. And I'm not just talking mean words. He actually wished death on them. Wishing death upon someone is another story. I seriously question your sanity. And this is what Quantum TV wrote back. Uh, they deserve it. The world is better off without them forcing their lifestyle on it. These are your accounts that you had linked on your YouTube, but all of a sudden that you're not responsible for them. That's not how it works. Man, a guy who consistently wishes death upon other people. Does that sound like someone we know? At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You see, Rich was able to successfully prove a connection between the hateful things you said on Facebook and Twitter and your YouTube account in Discord. What else have you said? Just had some girl named Lindsay attack me via heterophobic messages spamming homosexual acts. This is my response to all who are heterophobic. And he shows someone uh, LGBT activist attacked in Georgia. Mark my words, Quantum, all roads lead to one destination, the termination of your current YouTube channel. And I will not rest until that is achieved. You're a fugitive on the run, but the law is catching up. In response, Quantum actually committed another crime of slander. Uh, he accused Review Tech USA of being something horrible. I'm not going to say it here. Uh, there's absolutely no evidence of this. Uh, so we can just add that to the list of crimes. So Quantum, care to explain these hateful posts? Wishing death upon the LGBT community? Hmm? And instead of coming to me like a man, you resorted to being a little bitch about it and doing what you knew would get you views and you tried to use the gay community against me and weaponize shit. And at the end of the day, Rich, you've got no fucking leg to stand on and you need to shut the fuck up, okay? The reality is, it is what it is. I got hacked in 2018 and everything you find from 2018 is just that. It's a fucking hack. I don't owe you an apology and I'm not fucking sorry for shit I didn't do. That's, that's it. OBJECTION! Mr. TV. Would you please read the words on your channel banner? The number one brand in honesty. Well, it should say the number one brand in lies. Take that! If your accounts were hacked and compromised, then why were these horrible offensive things left on your account after you regained control of it? Why is there no history or post we can refer to of you mentioning the hack back in 2018? Unless these accounts were under the hacker's control for the last four years, but wait, that's not the case either because here's a Discord message of you saying you haven't used these accounts in years. Hmm. This is all him. They were there, people screen capped him, he deleted the account, and that account, like I said, was linked on his YouTube. So, did, did the hacker put you his, your, that Facebook in your YouTube about page? If you haven't had control of these accounts, then you're telling me the hackers went to your Twitter and Facebook profile accounts and deleted them while Review Tech USA was currently streaming and showing people the awful posts there. My Twitter was hacked. Okay, so all of those posts that you're seeing from 2018 literally have nothing to do with me, unfortunately. There's not really much I can do outside of working for years to try to recover an account. Hold it! Let, let's use, let's put the common sense cap on, okay? Quantum TV, why would a hacker, if they wanted to disavow you and discredit you and make you look terrible, rush to take down your Twitter? and your blog post while I was streaming all the horrible things that were from it. What if they want to keep it up to make you look even worse? There's another key thing you're going to notice here throughout this video. Uh, he does not um, condemn the terrible things that supposed hackers put up on his Twitter. He doesn't disavow any of it. He just, he just tries to deflect and say it wasn't my fault. 
which is very telling. Why is there a common theme of bigotry and hatred across all these accounts and platforms? Is that is that just pure coincidence? Hmm? I mean, this was you, right? You know it's wrong. That's why you deleted it. You're trying to hide it. Streisand effect. The truth is, Quantum TV really is uh, anti-LGBTQ. He's transphobic, homophobic racist and i don't use any of these words lightly david fuck you and your hate speech against me calling me homophobic because i'm anti-gay support is all you liberals do i'm i'm pretty sure being anti-gay is homophobic i've never pushed or forced my sexuality on the gays yet they're legit forcing lgbt into games and movies i stand against your liberal communist propaganda black panther is racist and only the most hateful blacks like it yes hello uh what are the symptoms of brain damage Okay, yeah, yeah, I think this guy definitely has it then. You've done yourself in, Quantum. You've done yourself in. Huh? Explain this away, huh? Explain all this shit away. What's the matter? Huh? Had enough? And since we're on the topic of racist, um, remember when you called Lenny Kravitz's daughter a half-breed? You had Selena Kyle, which is Lenny Kravitz's daughter, like a half-breed, basically. Or was that the hackers? Did the hackers, like, like manipulate the footage and then post it on your YouTube channel, which you then later deleted, because that seems to be you, and that seems to be your voice. Uh, Halfbreed is a racial slur, and it's fucked up to call people that. Here's a screenshot of him defending one of his Discord moderators for the liberal use of the word tranny when referring to trans people. This happened, like, last week. Were these recent Discord messages faked as well? Do you think calling trans people tranny is a hip, cool thing to do to stick it to the man and those liberal communists? Get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. I'm here to bury you. Everything Quantum does is for his own self-image. Uh, the pattern of behavior, silencing comments, trying to silence people's videos, deleting his own channels, deleting videos he uploaded, trying to prevent people from further downloading the videos. It's like you have never been on the internet. Nobody buys it. Nobody buys it. Quantum will argue that all of this is just, it's just one big misunderstanding, you know, that everyone is showing his clips and posts out of context. We're removing all the context. A, I don't like the fucking game. It's an endless, pointless death loop, which I've established at multiple points in my review process, which we will be showing in context instead of the out of context shit that all of these YouTubers are running with. Objection! You really are intent on burying yourself, aren't you? Your throne of lies is collapsing underneath you. You claim I took your clips out of context, but how can I provide context to my viewers when you delete the videos and threaten me with copyright strikes if I dare provide more context? You see, if anyone were to re-upload those old videos, I'm sure you would go after them too. So you can't ask for us to give more context when you are actively removing our ability to do that. You are a troglodyte. If I can't link people to the videos and I can't show them the full thing of what you said, and trust me, the context of everything he says is, is made worse, but if I can't do that, then people just have to go off of what I say and what I'm showing them. I don't like that, but that's the situation you put me in. While we're discussing clips out of context... I will say this for all of you idiots that don't understand. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. You know, we could sit here and argue all the ways that my video, Mischief, Griffin Gaming, Review Tech USA, Mudahar, anybody else that's covered this, we could sit here and debate on why it's fair use, but we all know that. The only person that doesn't understand this is you, Quantum. I wouldn't have believed this if I didn't see it for myself, but while you literally sit here sucking on cucumbers in a very provocative way, there's a lot that that says about your behavior. You see, so Quantum consistently references the copyright ID tool he used to false flag people. That I'm a false copyright flagger because some 16 year old got picked up on the copyright ID tool, which is YouTube's algorithm. He being a little fuck that likes to take people's video and use them and talk about them and say whatever they want. And I fucking use the tool the way it's supposed to be used. I'm a abuser. You can use the YouTube algorithm to actually go ahead and copyright people. But the thing is, you shouldn't. 
That's the problem. Like I said, YouTube support advised me that filing a copyright claim against you was the best way to remove the re-uploaded content. So, wait a fucking second. OBJECTION! That, I can accurately say, is a load of bullshit. YouTube will not tell you to file a copyright claim just because a video is re-uploaded. At least not exactly like that. Again, like in the beginning example, if I uploaded an entire TV show to YouTube, YouTube would get that DMCA because YouTube is a safe harbor website. As soon as they get a copyright claim, they must act on it or else they lose a lot of those protections. So yeah, they remove your video. That doesn't mean YouTube is going to accurately speak to you through their support channel on a serious legal issue. YouTube will actually straight up want you to talk to a lawyer because once you file a DMCA, a legally binding DMCA, that's between you your attorneys, and that's it. You realize following YouTube's support advice on copyright claims to remove re-uploads failed me. And as a result, I'm being labeled as a copyright abuser right. And then this person says, that I cannot answer for you. It's a fucking support agent, okay? Don't believe the support agent who's probably not even from the country that you're dealing in is gonna give you accurate information. Anytime you deal with legal shit, you should be smart enough to know to get a goddamn lawyer. You blame YouTube support for the false copyright takedown instead of yourself. Somehow, everyone else on YouTube is completely unaware of what copyright is in fair use and the four factors of fair use. It's, it's everyone's wrong but you. Um, as if a piece of software built into the YouTube system is somehow responsible for your illegal actions. It's not. But, but after, after my encounter with Quantum in the DMs, I was like, this is a man who cannot be reasoned with, who will not change for anyone, and who cannot change. He is still the same hateful, bigoted, racist, transphobic, piece of human trash, copyright abuser that he was before. Nothing has changed. He has only been trying to hide all this stuff. Like, you, you understand, by law, I can counter sue you if you come after me. I will win, and I will clean you out. You will sell that wedding ring on your finger. You will sell your house and any valuable possessions you have for wasting my fucking time. I'm the act attorney, of course. I win every case. The laws do not change based on what Quantum TV thinks about them. Quantum, we have evidence of hate speech. We have evidence of you telling people to kill themselves on multiple accounts. We have proof of all of this through your accounts that we can also prove we're not hacked. We have evidence of you threatening multiple content creators with false copyright takedowns going against fair use. We have all the proof we need to get your YouTube count terminated and it's all thanks to you. Give it up guys. Give it up for this laughing stock clown man out here providing quality entertainment. You see, we've been able to elevate the voices of the people you tried to silence, coerce, and threaten. Hopefully the YouTube community can come together and demand YouTube implement better systems in place so that content creators that abuse this system are much more heavily reprimanded and discouraged from abusing it. We'll call it Quantum's Code. Copyright takedowns is akin to using nukes. We all understand the ramifications of using such a tool, and that's why we've collectively agreed not to do that. Because if we could just take down any video we didn't like, then nobody would have a place here. And a platform that isn't made for everyone is a platform that shouldn't be made, in my opinion. Before arriving at my final point, here's the most important thing I have to say about all of this. Unfortunately, there is no cure for narcissistic personality disorder. Fuck Elden Ring. Fuck their players. I'm not sorry. I don't like Elden Ring players. They're nasty people. None of this has anything to do with legitimacy. Quantum isn't using this controversy to grow his channel, and this has nothing to do with Elden Ring. This has everything to do with a disorder. Ego. Listen very closely once more. I will get your YouTube channel deleted. You have committed crimes in no unmistaken- Stop! You violated the law. I have contacts at YouTube. I have already messaged. We have a meeting set up. You have demonstrated a history of hate speech, targeted harassment, false claims. You have apologized for exactly none of it. You have made no effort to correct, address, or even admit a single mistake you've made. You make YouTube a worse place for everyone. 
frankly, I'm witnessing somebody who has no idea of how, like, legal systems work. And frankly, they're making YouTube a bad, you know, place for anybody else, okay? There is one thing no community on YouTube tolerates, and it's a copyright abuser. I don't care about your opinion, dude. I care about the fact that you're nuts and you're toxic to this community. Still. Yeah, this is like the Jesse Smollett of fucking YouTube. 100%. That's the perfect description for this guy. I suggest you make peace with whatever content you wish to publish on your channel before you see this screen again and quantum you're gonna see it again i may not be able to offer a cure for narcissism but hopefully by shattering this false reality and sense of yourself then perhaps maybe whatever spell you're under you will wake up from it it's such a shame and i was planning on asking you about this new tv i was interested in Because maybe there's something wrong with you. Because maybe there's something wrong with you.